Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ahmed Al Ghul, a corneal and anterior segment surgeon based out of Calgary, Alberta. Today I'll talk to you about touchless PRK and why I think it's the procedure to go for. All right, so just to start, uh, I want to make sure you guys understand, I don't actually advocate for only one technique for my patients when they come in for um, corrective surgery consultation. But what I like to do is try to get the best possible technology pertaining to that procedure or protocol. So I just mentioned touchless PRK, but really what we're talking about today is PRK. But I'm going to prove to you that touchless PRK is the way to go in the field of PRK for those who we say are the best candidates for PRK. So just to give you a little background for those who don't know what PRK is, PRK stands for photorefractive keratectomy. And what we're talking about is taking the uh, cornea, which is the clear part of the eye that allows for most of the light to be focused on to the eye and doing a correction with an ultra precise laser called the eczema laser that allows us to be able to flatten the cornea and in doing so, allowing the vision to be sharpened. Okay, so the Duchess PRK, the laser does the entire procedure from A to Z. As opposed to PRK, the traditional PRK, if you look at this picture here, the top layer of this cross section of the cornea is basically what would, I would do if I take a model like this and take the cornea and turn to the side. When you look at what we do with PRK, the top layer is called the epithelium and it's measured in this picture here, about 50 microns thick. This layer constantly regenerates. So doing a correction on the epithelium doesn't make sense because the epithelium is going to regenerate. So what we need to do in PRK setting is sweep that epithelial layer off and then start treating on the layer beneath it. And then when you start, when you start treating on the layer beneath it, that's when you're starting to get permanent correction. Okay. Again, PRK is not news been around for 30 years, but the traditional approach to doing PRK is that the surgeon is going to have to figure out a way to remove that top layer. And there's several techniques. There's the brush technique, electric brush, uh, like a medical electric brush. Um, there's the um, chemical approach using uh, alcohol. Um, there's the mechanical approach, which is actually taking like a spatula and like, you know, actually, unfortunately, I hear. I hate to use the word scraping, but that's really what it is. And so the notion of doing it traditionally using these techniques is where, from a patient perspective, it's a bit irking. And I get it. Uh, but with the touchless technique, you're not really having to worry about that because the laser itself knows exactly how much epithelium to remove to get to the layers beneath it. So touchless PRK as a concept is not new. Uh, there's been many iterations of it where the idea is to have the laser remove the epithelium in one step and then do the actual correction on the layers beneath the epithelium as a second step. And like I was mentioning earlier, you got to get to the layers beneath the epithelium to be able to produce a permanent change, i.e. an improvement to someone's vision. But what's really cool about the Schwinn laser system is it's been able to integrate both of those steps simultaneously. And that's why it results truly in the fastest way to correct someone's vision. Because literally, it's a matter of pressing on the foot pedal and the laser starts to remove the epithelium and then immediately goes directly into lasering the layers beneath without you even knowing as a surgeon or a patient that that's happening. On average, it takes about 20 to, 20 to 30 seconds to do the treatment and we're done. So, so much anxiety can come into someone's mind when they're thinking they're going to have surgery on their eyes. And if you truly are a candidate for PRK, what's really cool about this is that the laser systems now, there are systems out there that basically can alleviate that concern of you thinking about having to have someone, i.e. a surgeon, remove that epithelium. Not that we can't do it, it's just that it's a lot nicer to not have to worry about it. And so from a patient point of view, that's why I think Touchless PRK is a much smoother way. I'd encourage you to watch some of our videos where we have live videos of patients going through a Touchless PRK.